Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. One thing we have learned as a result of working from home due to the COVID-19 lockdown is the value of cloud computing and being able to operate virtually. Joining me via Zoom, a cloud company, and how I am able to consistently produce Trade Talks content in a remote environment, we have Cara Marcascano. She's a Senior Research Analyst at Wisdom Tree to discuss how to get targeted cloud exposure for your portfolio. Kara, welcome to Trade Talks and cloud computing companies have been the darlings of the work from home trade as their growth has been accelerated because of the COVID-19 lockdown and investors want to tap into that. Tell us about the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing Fund. Thanks so much for having me today. Yes, um, the cloud industry has been a stellar performer so far year to date. Um, the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing Fund, which we launched in September 2019, the ticker is WCLD, um, was licensed from the BVP NASDAQ Emerging Cloud Index. Um, so last year when we launched this fund, we saw the combination of a leading venture capital firm with Bessemer Venture Partners um, and a world-class rules-based indexer with NASDAQ as a really unique and powerful combination. And we wanted to bring this into an investable product um, through an ETF. So the selection criteria that um, BVP and NASDAQ have sort of outlined for the index is really unique. And they're looking for the fastest uh, growing pure play cloud computing firms out there. Uh, so it's the only ETF out there that's screening for things like revenue growth and for pure play cloud exposure. So for companies that are generating um, 50% or more of their revenue growth from the cloud industry. And when you take all of those screening criteria and how that applies to W Cloud, and we look at the fundamentals of W Cloud, uh, it's so rapidly growing. If you look at the revenue growth of these companies on a weighted average basis, they've been growing 40% almost um, annually, their top line. And that's triple the growth rates that you're seeing from things like the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, um, or just broader infotech. So truly the fastest growing part of tech out there. And as far as some of the other unique fundamentals that we're seeing in W Cloud, um, you know, from an investment standpoint, it's a very cheap cloud computing ETF. It's the cheapest one out there by 15 basis points. It's equally weighted. So you're gonna have less concentration in the top names and the top 10 holdings. And you're also gonna get less overlap with benchmark indexes. And that's first of all due, it, due to the pure play exposure. So uh, W Cloud won't own things like the FANGs because those companies aren't fully dedicated to pure play cloud exposure. 50% or more of the revenue isn't coming from the cloud computing industry. And by not market cap weighting or holding those names, you're gonna have less overlap with things like the S&P 500 um, and less concentration risk at the very top. So it's a very, very unique basket of 52 stocks and we're really, really happy with how it's performed this year. Well, Kara, let's talk about W Cloud performance and the recent results of some of the work from home stocks. Sure, so relative to benchmarks for growth, tech, and you know, broadly US equities, W Cloud is outperforming anywhere between 15 percentage points to 30 percentage points the S&P 500 is still in negative territory and W Cloud is up over 40% year to date. Um, so the first question we'll usually get from investors is, you know, is this performance validated? And over the past few weeks, we've had results come out and some of the financials that are coming out are really validating what's been happening in the market. So we had companies like Zoom have a blowout quarter, um, Twilio have a blowout quarter, and all of the sort of narratives that you're getting from these CEOs of these companies is projects that were typically taking, you know, two years to complete are now being rapidly implemented over weeks, and that's due to the coronavirus pandemic. Um, so this shift to remote work, this shift to digitizing your business has rapidly accelerated um, the adoption of cloud computing, not only in the technology industry, but out of the technology industry. Um, so this really has been a catalyst for these companies. And that's why you're seeing this really strong performance um, year to date. And Kara, it seems as if these trends are here to stay because we understand what work from home looks like. We understand how 
productivity has multiplied across the board. So it seems as if this isn't just a COVID-19 trend, but something longer term that, that companies are going to implement as their strategy going forward, as we potentially might have hybrid roles of working from home or splitting our time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Shopify is a great example of one of the companies that's in the cloud uh, fund and also in the index that has predicted that the future of work is going to be 100% um, remote. So some of the conversations that we've been hearing is that this hybrid model between you know, half of your workforce working remotely and half of your workforce working in an office is actually not ideal. What you should commit to is either 100% in office or 100% remote. And right now the most feasible is 100% remote. So a company like Shopify has committed you know, about a month ago, actually, to being 100% remote. So we don't think it, this is a, a short-term um, sort of catalyst. If you think about W Cloud as a strategy, it's a thematic strategy. So it's meant to capture this long-term strategic shift um, from the way that we're processing, storing, and managing data, moving from on-premise or in the office or at home to be doing it completely distributed from where the actual servers are that manage and process and store your data. Um, we thought that was going to be something that happened over decades, right? But this pandemic has sort of accelerated this. So yes, definitely there's a short-term catalyst, but this is going to happen over many, many, many years. Um, but it is happening faster than I think we expected or probably BVP expected because no one was really expecting a worldwide pandemic to be forcing us to be working remotely. but you know, outside of just this wave to remote work, which I think is, you know, we're in now, um, cloud computing technology hasn't really scratched the surface when you think about um, sectors outside of the inf information technology sector. So things like driverless cars and healthcare, all of those are ripe for digitization. So even though remote work is this hot topic right now, after this wave kind of goes through over the next maybe five years, there's still a lot of growth there for cloud computing. So it's, a, it's based on a long-term strategic shift. So if you're an investor that believes that one remote work is probably here to stay and that over time, digitization of businesses, not only infotech businesses um, is going to occur, then W Cloud is the right place for you. Um, it's a thematic place. So it's not about timing the market. It's not about um, you know, a specific sector or evaluation metric. It's Thematic. Yeah, Carrie, you certainly are an exciting sector to watch for sure. Thank you so much for joining us on Trade Talks. Thanks so much for having me. All right, and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.